broken coil tabs on the Equinox coils. There's two of them right here. In this video, I'm going to try to do some testing to find out how we can permanently fix these forever. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. I'm going to kind of give you a quick background on what we're going to try during this video. Uh, number one, let me tell you this. If, if it breaks on you, try to get all the pieces. Um, I'm going to have one here. I, I don't have all the pieces. I'm going to show you how we can fix that too. But try to get the pieces so you can at least glue these back on in the shape. This one here is one that came off here, right there. But what we're going to do, we're going to put that back on. But what we're going to do is build a backing plate behind this out of ABS plastic. It will go behind it. But before we do that, we'll have to make... We're going to use some um, cardstock to make a pattern. Once we put one on and make a pattern of it, and it'll come from all the way from here across to here, which will have a whole bonding area all in here, which should fix it so it will never break again. But first thing we do is got to put all this together. And you wonder what type of glue should we use to glue that together? What type of adhesive? Well, I bought... We're going to do some testing in this video. I got five different things we're going to test. No, six. We got some Gorilla Glue, epoxy, another type of epoxy, JB Weld. I'm even going to try my Goop, which I use a lot on stuff. Another JB Weld for plastics. And we're going to try my um, uh, Crazy Glue and Baking Soda trick too. But what we're going to do is this. Uh, we're going to, I cut five pieces out, and we're going to glue six pieces out. And we'll glue all six of them on the end here using each one of these. And then we'll do a pressure test, see which one holds up the best. We'll have to wait 24 hours to actually test it, but we're going to glue them all on here today, and then we'll do the final test tomorrow to see which one holds up. But while that's hard, and we're gonna I'm going to show you in this video how we're going to cut these uh, patterns out to fit on here, so stay tuned for that. All right, what we want to do here is make a pattern that we're going to cut a piece of plastic out, ABS plastic, and bump up against this and completely uh, reinforce it. So... We got to make a pattern of what we want here. So what we want to do is bring it in here and you push this down like that. And that should give me a good pattern. I'm going to kind of push it down up top here too. So it kind of fills in. I want it even with the back of that right there. So as I pull up, I want it even with this right here. So that should be a good pattern right there to cut the um, pattern out with right there. We'll cut that out. And then we'll just have to make a little pattern across the top here. But let's go ahead and cut that out. And then I'll make a pattern across the top and get a good good um, drawing of what we want. And then we'll cut it out of this and it'll, and it'll fit down in there perfect. We'll be able to glue it against that. And we'll have a whole bond against that. And it will never break. All right, let's, let's make this pattern right here on the paper and see if we can't get it cut out. All right, I cut that out from the pattern. And as you can see, it fits perfect right there right down in there perfect just like that so now what we want to do is come over here and we want to actually uh get a line on this side i think what i'm gonna do is uh bring it up a little bit higher we're gonna come across here right here and across here right here but what we're gonna do instead of coming straight we're gonna actually give it a little bit more and come across here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna mark the top here right there we're gonna mark this right here. We're gonna mark this right here. And I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna get a circle line across that and that's what we'll make our pattern out of. All right, let me get that drawn up and we'll see how it looks. All right, we got it cut out now. I use a glass that made a perfect loop around there. We got a good bond, we have a good bond in here. Once we bond all this all the way around and put a hole through here, this will, support this here so it i can't see how it break. the only thing we gotta do is see what type of adhesive we want to use and uh go from there so now what i'm gonna go out here and do is cut this out right here that's gonna look good right there i have to cut a couple of those out well actually i need four of them so because i got two coils so i'll probably go ahead and reinforce the one i have right now i'm using all right all right final product support tabs for the 15 inch coil and the support tabs for the 11 inch coil are done. These things should, once we get figure out which glue to use and we get them in there, that will give it support all the way across. It's gonna, I think it's gonna definitely so take care of this problem once and for all. 
All right, stay tuned. Uh, we'll check out the uh, epoxy test tomorrow. Glue these things on, get the holes drilled out, and we'll be ready to go on our backups. All right, it's been 24 hours, and we're ready to see how well our little test subjects did with the different types of adhesives. So we can go ahead and get our coils repaired and back in the field. All right, let's get a little set up here and test them out. Here we go. All right, to try and get a little bit of data on this, I'm going to use this little fish scale and do a pull on it and see how many pounds of pressure for it breaks. Now, I just did a little quick test, see how it's going to work with the goop, and the goop is not is, is the worst one I felt like it was going to be anyway. But as you can see, it's not even holding up to nothing. It just came right off. Goop is not the one to go with right there. As you can see, goop is out. And you see it didn't bond at all to that. All right, crazy glue and baking soda will be the next one. Let's see how it does here on this. Are we ready? All right, let's see if I can hold this together and hold this at the same time. All right, it's up to about four pounds right now, five pounds. Okay, it held five pounds, no problem. Let's just go real quick to see if all of them can hold that. Five. Oh! Gorilla single tube glue broke at five pounds. Okay, let's try to glue the two tube mixture. Five pounds on the gorilla. So, so far, the crazy glue is holding up better than any of it. All right, we've got five, six, seven pounds on the two tube gorilla. That's seven pounds so far. That's pretty good on that one. All right, now we're going with the JB Plastic Weld. Let's get this straight so they're all somewhere here. All right, we got five, six, seven. That one went up to seven pounds. That's good. All right, now the other JB weld. Okay, well, oh, seven pounds. Let's give them. Oh, it just slipped off. Now that's still holding. So they all held seven pounds. All right, we're going to have to go up a little higher to see what's going to break. And we're talking. Uh, so let's get this in here. The soda, baking soda. And seven, eight, nine, ten pounds. Ah, oh, man, I got about 13 pounds on that one. And she's still holding. That's what the crazy little baking soda, 13 pounds. All right, let's try with the Gorilla Tube Tube here. Let's see what we got here. Let's try to. 15. That one got about 18 pounds. Wow. Okay. These guys are working pretty good. I guess we're ready to do it where it actually breaks it. Man, these four of them are still doing really well. I think any of those four would probably be okay right now, but we'll see which one holds the best. All right. Stay tuned. All right. Here we go. Hopefully, this will be a destructive test. Crazy glue and baking soda. I had to bolt this thing. Well, C-clamp it down so it won't move on me because I couldn't hold it at the same time. So much pressure on it. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we're going up to 10. Oh, about 12 pounds maybe. We'll look at re-look at that tape and see what it does. But it definitely was a good bond there. I think All right, this is the Gorilla 2 tube. Here we go. See what it goes up to. 10, 12, 15, 20. About 20 pounds. Whoa. Oh, man. I'm going to show you this. This actually bonded to the plastic right there. You can see it. It didn't even break off. Even it, the plastic actually looks like it broke, not the bond. Wow. That's amazing. All right. This is JB Plastic Weld. Are we ready? 10, 15. Oh, that didn't go. That didn't make it as far. About 16, I think. Something like that. And that actually pulled out. I got my video here. I can go back and look at it, get the exact numbers here. Hopefully, a little better. All right, here we go. Right, let's move my camera a little bit closer here so we can see it good. All right, hold on. Let's get it a little good. Okay, I want to be able to go back and review this. 10. Oh, man, about 12 pounds. That one didn't work good at all. That Gorilla 2 tube did the ticket. And that's what we'll be using right there, that Gorilla 2 tube. I'll show you that. That really bonded good. Look at that. It actually, man, looks like almost the plastic broke off versus the uh, thing. All right. Pretty good. 
All right, everybody, we are done with the cool repair process. As y'all can see, I made the little piece up here. Now, I tell you one modification you notice it doesn't come all the way over here. Uh, my friend down Marty, I listen to y'all when y'all talk. Uh, he mentioned, he said, you know, if you go all the way, oh, you're going to create like a little cup in there and it will collect sand and water. And he's right. So what I ended up doing is, is not going all the way to the edge. So you got drain holes on all four sides right there. This ABS plastic, it, this is not going to break down. This thing is tough now. Uh, I did the 15 inch core also. And as you see, I put little drain holes on both sides right there. Hope you all can see that okay. So now it can drain out in four different places on the 15 inch coil. And I am a happy camper. That is never gonna break there. 100% that will do it right there. I like the drain hole too. Good, good job, Marty. I appreciate the input on that. Um, anyway, that is the final product. I feel comfortable it's not gonna do it. Um, this one was out of warranty. This one was not. I could have sent this one back, but they do charge you shipping. And by the time you pay shipping a couple times, I've sent them back a couple times, um, you just about to pay to fix it permanently because you're going to have to do it eventually anyway. So that was my thought anyway. And that, I have not had luck with those little tabs you buy that go to the top of it. Actually, my friend broke two of them. Gene, you know, see him hunting when he had two of them. He broke both of them. So they weren't a permanent fix. They may help in the interim, but they're not a permanent fix. I feel like this is the permanent fix. So. That's my, that's my thought anyway, and that's where I'm going with it. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed uh, that little uh, adventure with me. Uh, hopefully, if y'all can use it or not, uh, y'all can try on y'all's coils. Or you can wait and give me a chance to test these out and make sure they're going to work okay first. All right, I appreciate everybody coming along. Don't forget to click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Bass, and click the bell so you get notification when I put out a video. All right, thanks for coming along.